Hello everyone, I'm at the 626 Night Market, foodie heaven. This is the first time I visited this food fair and I'm so excited to try different and unique foods. So let's get this food exploration started. large-scale, temporary, and seasonal market was established in 2012, named after the 626 area code region of the San Gabriel Valley, northeast of Los Angeles, where the flagship event is held in Arcadia, which it still does. But because of popular demand, it was established here in Pleasanton back in 2018. no cash credit card only as you can see it's not quite nighttime yet it's just a little past three o'clock but we haven't had lunch yet or I haven't had lunch yet I only had breakfast around 9 30 so I'm really starving plus nightfall or sunset doesn't actually begin until well past 8 p.m. So our first food on this food trip is the lobster, garlic rice, and sausage on the side. Now, I gotta show you how much meat we got. There's not enough meat in here for two people. It's a good thing that we got a side of sausages. All right, so it's time to taste test this first meal. This is my half of the lobster. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. Pretty good, actually. It was grilled pretty good. You can actually taste um, the charcoal. Fried rice? Mm. The fried rice actually it's supposed to be garlic rice. You really can't taste the garlic but the rice is almost like the sticky Japanese rice. Also it's garlic rice. Mm -hmm. Sausage. That one's really good too. And it's spicy um, sausage. They're all pretty seasoned well. They're seasoned well. All the food. A little extravagant price, but pretty good. Mm. And then we got boba to wash it all in.
liquid. Ah, okay, let's try this. I don't know how to try this. I'm gonna start at the bottom. flavor really comes through and it doesn't have that fishy aftertaste I like it all right I'm gonna keep on eating We found seats on a shaded area. When you walk in through the entrance, the promenade are actually only like boutique and accessory vendors. There are no there are no food vendors on this promenade. It's actually on the other side of this, um, and that's where we sort of headed towards or gravitated towards when we first came in. Today is a Saturday and this market is only open for this weekend. I believe it started yesterday, Friday, today, Saturday, and then Sunday. I will link the website description of this market on the description below and you can just check out their times. When we started this morning, we actually started in this grassy picnic area. So you can actually bring your lawn chairs, your beach chairs, or mats. So you can make use of this as respite from the sun. And while you're eating, you can sort of get all your food and bring it here and have a nice, cool, shaded area. So this is the boutique vendor area as you enter the fiesta and then right behind the vendors is the picnic area. to be a mini concert held during the night market hours and the stage is located next to the boutique vendors so right there. So 
so for the bathroom situation, there's actually a building for the bathrooms for men's and women's. And there's also a porta potty available with a wash basin right outside it with a soap dispenser. So it's pretty um, well organized. So this is going to be our last food item for the day. We've actually had quite a bit already and even though we shared it, it's still pretty filling. So this is the Oyster Rockefeller. So the base for this is mayonnaise and then the oyster and then Asiago cheese with paprika and other seasonings on top. Let's try it. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Wow, they're really creamy. Really creamy in a way that is really overpowering. I wish it was a little bit more or a little less mayo. But the cheese is great. All right, we're gonna eat the other one. The last time I ate Rockefeller oyster, it wasn't browning in mayo. So since the oyster is pretty small, the mayo was overpowering. All right, so we're done with the night market and it's getting pretty full in there. I mean, it is a popular nighttime event, but I really like being there doing the daytime because one, there's not a lot of people that you would be running into even though there's a lot of space in there. Two is that there's not a long line for any of the vendors. So three, we're able to check out all the vendors at a leisurely pace and we're not getting pushed or it's not chaotic as we go around each vendor. All right, before I close out this video, I want you guys to see Bailey's new outfits. Before I head home to my own house, we're actually at Darwin's right now, I wanted to show the Ensemada project, Ensemadas that we bought. So here's Mango. Dulce de leche. Maple bacon. What is this one? Mocha. Mocha? Yeah. That's the oh. mocha. Oh, okay. Because the mocha and the dulce de leche look alike. One of them is mocha. <laughs> Oh, and gee. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? We'll look. Hold on. Wait. They're rolling about. Okay. Oh wait, that is mocha. Did you get dulce de oh, leche? Oh, maybe the other one's mango. I didn't get dulce de leche. I got mango, red velvet. Ube. You did not. You just said you didn't get mango. No, no I'm sorry. I got mocha. Uh, red velvet and ube. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. That, yeah, the ube. Yes, ube. Uh oh, it's kind of coming off. <laughs> oh my god. It got smooshed. Um and red velvet. Red velvet. Okay. Yeah. Um, I got four. You had an extra one. Yeah, um, that bonus. So this is your mocha. Yeah. Yeah, okay. What did I get? Dulce de leche. Pandan. pandan yeah. So pandan. It's pandan. So this one is pandan. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna take the bag. Yeah. 
Alrighty, so now I'm going to head home and I'm going to show you guys Bailey's clothes on Bailey. See you at home. All right, I'm home now and the Bailey will model his new clothes. The first one is this Hawaiian shirt. I had to get him another one because the one from Hawaii didn't work out. See? Alrighty, here we go. Look at that. Huh? Yeah, it's, just, it's just a little long. Yeah, it's, well, it's really long. But that's okay. Oh, actually we can we can repair that. Yeah, there we go. We can repair it so it's it won't be a long. It won't be as long. Huh? That looks good. Huh? You have your Hawaiian shirt now. Okay, one, one more. Put the bias Hawaii. Okay. It's still summer. You can still wear it. Alrighty. Next. This next one is uh, the one that I went back and forth with with the owners because I was insisting that Bailey is a medium and they were like, no, his breed and his weight should be a small. So here we go. Look at that. It's okay, huh? It's not, it's not snug on his arm. I feel like it's snug on his body, but there's a lot of stretch in it. Huh? Oh, baby boy, do you like it? Actually, the medium would be okay also. The medium would be okay also. Hmm. I have to... Whoa! 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 I have to think about it. Because this is... Hold on, hold on, hold on, baby. Go. Yeah, the medium would be long on him as well. But it'll fit a little looser than this one. I mean, this one's fine. But when he has his poofy hair, it's gonna be busting all over the place. <laughs> Alrighty! Say thank you, thank you everybody. Alright, this is a good place and time to end this vlog. For now, from my mind side to yours, more to come real soon. Thanks for watching.